Today, in honor of Mother's Day, we're looking back at just some of the many outstanding moms we met during this past season. And to kick things off, we begin with Katherine Oxenberg, a mother who made headlines with her desperate struggle to free her daughter, India, from an alleged sex cult. In 2017, the news shocked the world. A cult operating in upstate New York, Nexium, pretending to promote self-empowerment to recruit young women was actually way more sinister. In reality, Nexium brought in young women under the guise of helping them, but in actuality, the women were brainwashed, turned into sex slaves, starved and branded with the leader's initials. The extent of the depravity of what was happening became known when Catherine Oxenberg, an actress and European royalty, revealed that her daughter, India, was in the clutches of Nexium. To free her daughter, Oxenberg went public and it worked. In 2018, Nexium leader Keith Raniere was finally arrested in Mexico and India Oxenberg was freed. In his star's documentary series, India reveals the horror she lived while trapped by the cult, sharing her message as a cautionary tale to help others. My name is India. I was in Nexium from 2011 to 2018 for seven years. I went through something I don't wish upon anybody, and I'm still trying to figure it out. How could I have ended up in a cult where I was sex trafficked or involved in crimes that could have put me in prison? I'm trying to figure out what happened. India Oxenberg and her mother, Catherine Oxenberg, join us today. Thank you both for coming in to talk to me today. Hi, thank you for having us. The STARS documentary, it really breaks down everything you went through. I mean, excruciating detail. How are you doing today? You know, today I'm actually doing really well, if you can imagine, compared to that, which was terrible. But the documentary really goes deep into how it happened and how it happened for me personally. And I wanted it to be real. I, I didn't want to sugarcoat it. I have to tell you, Catherine, I felt bad for you because you were the one who took India to the first meeting. Take us through what the whole idea was to take her. It was called Executive Success Programs, ESP. What, what was the idea behind that? The idea was she was starting a new career. She just left college. Um, I had done a lot of self-help programs. We had done stuff together. It seemed completely legit. There were a lot of very high profile, very well educated people. Yeah, there. that's what I was going to say. Yeah. It was like, it was very disarming from yeah. the beginning. There were people that were there that were, I mean, famous actors yeah. people who were credentialed. It, it kind of puts your guard down immediately. So you don't really question. And I think that's the thing that my mom and I have both had to really revisit in our own memories is what were the things that we didn't see? What were, the, what were the red flags that were so obvious to us now that weren't then? 